What's up guys? I uh, just wanted to do a quick uh, kind of brief overview of one of my favorite fish, the Rummy Nose Tetra. Uh, I've kept them for several years. Definitely one of my favorite fish. The schooling really can't be beat by any other Tetra. They do the whole little follow the leader thing, you know, turning in unison. Lots of fun. Uh, they are also one of the more sensitive Tetras, so probably not the best beginner fish. You know, they really require an established aquarium just because you need everything to be very stable. They don't handle big swings in water quality. Uh, you know, they live up to about five years, get up to about two inches, although I've seen some big females maybe get a bit over that, but really not much. Definitely a fish that you're gonna want to keep in the high 70s to low 80s. Um, you know, for the most part, they are a blackwater fish, which means they occur in water that's high in tannins from, you know, wood and leaves and decaying matter in the water. Um, and so if you're trying to replicate that, you would, you know, have to put a lot of uh, wood and leaves in your aquarium. And you're going to have to enjoy the look of uh, brown stained water. But it's actually in the right lighting. It's very attractive. But, um, you know, the females tend to be a little bit larger than the males in girth, uh, if not necessarily in length. They are egg scatterers, you know, uh, and they have been bred in captivity fairly regularly, but still a lot of the ones you see in the trade are wild caught. You are, uh, your source for where you buy these is going to be massively important. Uh, because if you get some that are starting weak, your, your chances of success are very low. You really want to get them from a good source. Um, the ones I've bought the most recently, I got from Dan's Fish, which probably is the absolute best online fish source that you can find. It's a little bit more expensive, but you know, you're not dealing with huge percentages of die off like you are with a lot of um, uh, other online sources. And then it can vary from, uh, you know, local fish store to fish store, you know, just. You know, if your if your local fish store takes extra care of the fish, does you know runs them through quarantines, you know before you're taking them home, they're usually pretty sturdy fish. I live fairly close to the aquarium co-op that's down in uh, towards Seattle, and so I'm pretty comfortable buying fish from them because they do run a quarantine. But you know, that really depends on what your local fish store you know does but uh, there's there's actually three species of rummy nose uh, the rummy nose name itself as best as I can figure from some of my research is that it came from the gin rummy card game that you know uses the standard deck of cards you know red and black uh, and so that seems to be where the name rummy nose came from but like I said there's three species um, there's the uh, true rummy nose, the Hemogrammus rotostomus, um, which is what mostly I have. And, uh, you know, the rotostomus is from ancient Greek, roto meaning red and stoma meaning face, so red face, you know. And they're mostly found in Brazil and, uh, and Venezuela and the Rio Orinoco and the lower Amazon basin. Like I said, you know, black water. Um, how you can tell these is the red really doesn't go past the gill plate. Uh, the red is mostly up in the tip of the nose. Um, the second species is the Hemigrammus blaheri, um, the common or brilliant rummy nose, and they're named for Heiko Blair. And they're mostly found in Colombia and Brazil in the Rio Negro and Rio Meta, also in black water. And these, uh, the red actually goes a little bit past the gill plate and so the red just goes a little bit further into the body they're gonna have a you know brighter red uh, quite a bit more visible 
they're the they're the most common in the pet trade which makes sense because it's got the most red which is what you know people want in their aquariums they want that bright nose um the third species is the Petatella georgii or the false rummy and they look very similar to the true rummy nose uh they're uh found in peru and brazil uh in the rio uh Puris and uh, the Rio Negro and Rio Madeira. Um, they um, have uh, the black center line in their tail fin. Progresses a little further up into the body is how you kind of tell them from the, uh, uh, the true rummy nose. But you really don't see them much in the, in the hobby as much as the other two. Which is interesting because from my research, they're the one that seem to be the most common to occur in clear water. Which, you know, uh, most aquariums are clear water. And so they may actually do a little bit better in aquariums. But I can't say I've ever really seen them listed. I'm sure they come in, you know, here and there and are sold as the other two. But, um... You know, that's the three different species, and uh, definitely one of my favorite fish, uh, just the schooling behavior. But like I said, you're going to need to have really consistent water quality and uh, an established aquarium for these.